Bonjour everyone, I'm going to create a cat climbing wall completely out of suction cup items and hopefully it doesn't fall off. And of course we're going to talk about cats along the way. And at first glance my apartment seems like a pretty cool place for cats, however there is one thing missing. If you haven't noticed, I have nothing for the cats to climb and climbing is a pretty important thing for cats. And uh, climbing comes naturally to cats as ordering pizza comes as naturally to me. Cats on the outdoors climb to hunt birds, survey small rodents and ground-based prey, and um, climbing helps cats get away from predators. Now, a lot of people might say, easy, just get a cat tower. However, a cat tower is uh, simply not feasible in an apartment of my size, around 28 to 30 square meters. Plus, have you ever seen an actual adult cat try to climb a cat tower? Kittens, sure, because they're small, but adult cats just jump on and lounge and sleep. It's really more of a cat sleeper tower. And it's probably the equivalent of putting a whale in a swimming pool. I'm going to be barely able to navigate my room. But that's not to say that I don't like all cat trees. There are more climbing specialized types of cat towers that I recommend down in the description in my full article. In my previous apartment, I had a floor to ceiling climbing pole that I really loved, but I had to leave behind due to my sudden move. But this time I wanted to do something a little bit different. Now, most cat furniture comes into one of these three categories. Scratchables, climbables, and sleepables. Yes, I made those words up, but they do the job of being self-explanatory. And in general, it's a good idea to have a balance of these three categories. But unfortunately, cat butlers tend to lean towards the more comfortable side of things, usually getting too many sleepables. Looking at my apartment before, you can see that I have a lot of perches. And there's only one path for them to get to the top, and that's by jumping on the scratching post and moving across the suction cup perches on the walls. Now, with the added climbing space, now they have a second path to get to the top of the room. Luckily, despite living in such a small place, the windows here are actually really tall. So I wanted to leverage that and use, of course, more suction cup items. Using food is a great way to get cats to go where you want, but in this moment, I guess Latte was a little bit too excited, so he completely bypassed the climbing area. I used a lot of suction cup perches in my room with no issues, but climbing and playing is a much rougher activity. So this is the first real test of the stability and the strength of these suction cup climbers. Luckily, it supports the weight of the cats quite well. Usually cats are quite careful about climbing onto new furniture because they want to test if it will actually support their weight. However, Rosie, the only female cat in my room, is much braver than the boys and climbs the whole thing like a champ. I put the feather toy on top of the cat cave just to see if she can get all the way up and retrieve it, but that was a little bit too much for her. But she's done so much compared to the boys. However, I do think it's partly because I just trimmed the boys' nails so they can't get much of a grip. The next part was just to put the other cats onto the climbing wall to make them feel more secure and confident that it wasn't just going to fall off randomly. In the next couple of days, the cats were getting pretty adept at getting on and off the cat climbing wall and moving across the room of how I wanted, and nothing fell off, so that was definitely a win. So it really goes to show that even though cats might seem satisfied, there's always something we can do as cat owners to improve their environment and how they engage with their environment that also fits in with our own personal needs and wants as well. For the full article that goes much more into detail about all the different types of cat furniture and my recommendations, see the description down below or visit MonsieurTN.com and I'll see you in the next video.